Ben de tamam mı? Marina, hello. When you guys jump on, just say hi. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Brittany. Hey, who, hey, who? Hey. Can you guys just let me know, um, firstly, if you can hear me? And also just say hey. Um, and also if you can see me. My connection's been a little bit weak. Hey, Stace, what's up? Nice to see you. Awesome. Thanks, hon. Just going to wait for a little bit. Okay, cool. I've just changed the router, so I'm hoping this is a lot clearer. Um, I felt really emotional this morning. I've just been doing a live stream in our tribe, and around this exact topic um, and could feel like, oh, yeah, it had, it had a good cry, um, just realizing how hard I've been on myself lately, like the pressure, I, I felt like a whole lot of pressure, um, that I had a big breakthrough around last night that I wanted to share, um, hoping that that's a contribution to somebody. Um, so what I've been noticing over the last, oh, couple of days is that I felt like I've been in this, like, massive expansion zone, and so what I mean by, like, expansion zone is I feel like, like, shit's been changing up. I've been noticing, like, overwhelm pop up, I've been noticing myself go to make Andy wrong about stuff. Um, I've been noticing wanting to hide out, which is why I'm jumping on here, because that is not my commitment. Um, and for me, and let me know if you guys can relate to this, that when I'm going through like a growth phase, um, like our business is growing a lot like right now, we're having new people coming into the tribe every day, our relationship is growing, we're exploring new types of, hey Brittany, I've got two Brittany Willis. Whoa, you guys, and it's spelled exactly the same. Wait, hold on. Is this the same person? <laughs> um, we're in our relationship exploring new types of commitments to each other, new kinds of um, communication, open communication. Um, yeah, communicating differently within our business. And I, I felt stretched. I felt super stretched. I felt like... There's been two things kind of going on, like I could really stick with the feelings that were coming up of fear and overwhelm and like anger um, and not make that wrong, or I could go to hiding out and making people wrong and giving up on myself and buying into the overwhelm and like letting go of commitments and stuff like that and then staying small. And this one is something that I've done a lot in my life. I have like bought into that over and over again and my commitment has been this time to not and go this way and really just feel it all and feel how everything is just like rewiring in my body. Um, and I have noticed some shifts. And what I've noticed is that I've still been putting a fuckload of pressure on myself. Like, yesterday, I could just feel this really heaviness in my body. Hey, Harmony. I think I reached out to you yesterday. Nice to have you on here. Um, just say hey when you jump on in. Oh, yeah, I felt this heaviness. And I've noticed that there's like been a part of me pop up. And I could hear the voice that's been in my head being like, you're, you're fucking up. You're just, you're not doing enough yet. You're not. Hey, Jeanette, nice to see you. Um, you haven't done enough for your business. You've not done enough for your, in your relationship. You haven't done enough exercise. And you're not eating right. You're getting spots on your face. You're not sleeping enough. You're not. 
And like, I, I call it my, hey Chelsea, nice to see you. Um, I call it my, actually Chelsea, you will know this really well from, we used to live together when we were at university. I call this my 21 year old self who, when she was going through a lot, depression, anxiety, had so much fucking judgment towards myself. Like nothing was ever good enough. I would eat salad every day. I would run every morning to make sure that, you know, I wasn't putting on weight. I would study 24-7 so that I wouldn't fail my exams. I was terrified of going out at night in relationship with other people, um, especially going out partying and going to 21st birthdays and stuff like that because I'd compare myself to others and be like, whoa, she's so gorgeous or she like her dress is better than mine and blah, blah, blah. And there is this part of me, this 21-year-old who has so much fucking had so much judgment towards myself. Like nothing was ever good enough. And it was painful. I experienced a lot of internal pain. No one actually knew that on the outside, really, except for maybe one or two. Because I had like a, a face up to the world, like that everything was okay. Um, and I was just noticing this yesterday that there was that part of me kind of popping up, like just bringing so much pressure, so much judgment. And we're also part, Andy and I, at the moment of um, like a high level accountability program where we are committing to all sorts of actions to grow all the areas of our life that are really important to us. Um, and a, a big part of it is keeping an integrity, you know, keeping with your agreements that you say you're going to do, committing to actions, following through. And I noticed there was a lot of stuff that I hadn't done. And that part, that little voice in me, like, popped up and was really fucking loud and was like, you're fucking up, you suck, da 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 And um, I was clearing this with well, my mentor and message her and said, like, I haven't, hey, Sarah, nice to see you. Um, just being, like... A big part of it is letting our team know that we're in, who's in the program with us or our mentor, who's the, our guide, when we haven't completed actions or when we haven't done the stuff that we said that we'd do. Hey, Ben, nice to see you. And I was getting into the group and saying, like, okay, guys, like, I haven't done this. I haven't completed one of the letters that I said that I write. I've been committing to um, writing letters to people to res release resentments. And he sent me a message, um, which oh, I can still feel the emotion behind it. He was just like, bring forgiveness to yourself. Hey, Eve. <laughs> and oh, I can still feel the emotion behind it. It makes me, yeah. I was like, holy fuck. Like, I'm doing so much. And Ben, I want you to hear this. Like, I'm growing a team in our business that I've never done before. We've got three people working for us from the Philippines. We're growing our tribe. Like, I'm fucking out of my comfort zone a lot. And, hey, Ellie, I, I just paused and was like, oh, wow, I've been so hard on myself. And he was like, bring forgiveness. Bring forgiveness. You are, you know, all is okay. And... I can feel myself this morning as well. Just all the emotion that comes up behind that because it's like the little girl in me or the 21-year-old who still is holding on to some of that pain and some of that you're not good enough. Um, even though like I've shifted it a lot. <laughs> and this is something that Andy and I are committed to in our tribe and also that I'm really passionate about is that you know, these are parts of us that won't go away completely. You know, we're a human being. And that means experiencing the human experience. And for me, that has been a part of me that is critical sometimes. And I was just like, the last night and this morning, just seeing myself so much fucking love, like, when I have realizations like that, going into a real space of self-love and just speaking to myself really kindly, just saying, Katie Pie, like, you're okay. You're doing a really, really good job. And 
like yeah like tears kept on coming up because it was like that part of me the 21 year old was like thank god can you please give me a break like (laughs) because what I know and this is something that I've done my whole life is actually the, the driver a lot of the time hey Greg just popping these notifications up like ever since I was about 18 Actually, you're totally younger than that. She's been the driver. She's not wanted to fail. She's wanted to make sure that she's the best. And even though at times that means that I'm putting pressure on myself, she's also done stuff for me. She's really helped me to to drive my life forward. And so I'm speaking super conceptually here. This is something that I really find valuable is to, to notice that that's the part of me, that 21-year-old, and Greg, we did some work when we were working together around stuff like this, is tuning into who is that that feels the pressure within you? And within me, it was that 21-year-old, and she just needs so much love. She needs me to look in the mirror and say, darling, you are fucking beautiful. Thank you. You're powerful. I love you. <sighs> And I'm just learning to do that more and more. Because as I go on my journey of creating a space, a, like a, being a guide for people, um, helping people in our tribe, I forget that this does still pop up for me. And that it's never going away. And that I still need to have the devotion to myself to bring massive self-love, to do the work where I'm still feeling judgment. Because every time I go to a new level, experience something new, like she's there, <laughs> just checking in and being like, hey, are you, are you enough yet? <laughs> Marie, you are the most gorgeous and strong young woman I've come across in a long time. It tempts me to compare myself, but I'm not. I just went, oh, thank you, that's kind. And you know what? I love that you said that openly as well, that it tempts you to compare, because I've done that a shit ton comparison um and when you see something in another it's just because you have that within yourself that's the only reason that you see it and recognize it i thank you i I, i'm I'm soaking in that acknowledgement ellie yes girl it gets easier the longer you do it yeah totally um and yeah so it's like the last 24 hours just like lots of i feel light today yesterday i felt so much heaviness and um, it was really beautiful this morning Andy was putting on sometimes he plays music in the morning out of out of his like big beatbox thing and put on this song about um, just love and connection and I started just bawling my eyes out here he was like twirling me around our pavement here outside um, and just like looked me in the eye and said like I love you like thank you for the woman that you are and yeah, and what, what I also notice, and that, that was so beautiful, and often that kind of situation occurs or happens or shows up when I'm bringing love to myself, and that's my commitment and just what I encourage you to look at is where are you not forgiving yourself, bringing love to yourself in your life so that you can then have a closer connection with other people. <sighs> my arm's getting really sore. I need to get that tripod. But yeah, I'd love to hear from you guys. What can you relate to in this? Or where can you specifically bring love to yourself in your life? While I ask that, I'm just going to go back up. (laughs) And also, if you guys are on here, and this is something that you struggle with. Um, This is not the reason why I did this live stream, but my commitment is to be supporting two more people in my one-on-one coaching, which is around this kind of work, like bringing massive wholeness and self-love to yourself so that, because what I I notice for myself and experience with people, we're always wanting to create like a new future, like and move past, you know, the things that have kept us block, blocked in the past. Like, no matter who we are, on some level, that's what we want, to create, like, you know, a really cool, new and exciting future. 
But often what happens is that we're bringing all of the stuff from here, from the past, into the future. And so even though we may be thinking, or oh, that's our desire, is to create a really clean and clear and exciting possibilities in our future, we're bringing all of this stuff. And what I mean by this stuff is the, the stuff that I'm still working on that we're not complete with within ourselves whether that's judgment that we have towards that thing that you did when you were 18 or judgment towards another or resentment that this is a massive part of what I'm doing in our, our the program that Andy and I are also a part of at the moment. Hey, Amy is writing letters to people in our life who we're holding resentments towards and writing letters to myself. I'm looking at where I can bring love to myself with all. I had a conversation um, with my dad last year of really having massive release and forgiveness towards each other for some stuff when I was young and that's actually the most important work and that's what I hold space for people to do is bring a wholeness and completeness to all that you're experiencing internally or that comes up in your life so that you can actually create from that place of clarity and it, it takes something and it also takes support like I've had a heck load of support over my journey which is why I'm so passionate and inspired to be holding space for other people because you can't do it alone. Like, no matter who you are and what it is that you're up to, to really create in your life, it, you cannot do it alone. Um, so that's my commitment for people. So if anyone who's watching this, watching the replay or whatever, you want some support and what I'm saying is resonating with you, please reach out. But I do have one more spot, two more spots available um, or if you're interested in our tribe. But I, before I go, because that's not what this is about, I would love to know where is it that you, for those of you on here, want to bring some forgiveness to yourself or an area of your life where you can notice that you, you feel stuck? Ellie, amen. Mm -mm. Amen. <laughs> I'm alone most of the sign, except with my kids. Ash, reach out to me, hun. Um, you have someone. You have someone actually that's popped up a lot who I I would love to connect with. Health, totally. What is it that you judge about your health, harmony, that you'd like to bring some forgiveness to? Okay, this live from you today really resonates really because I really dropped into pit of heavy. I had to step out of. I can't see the rest of that message, hun. But whatever is coming up for you, it's awesome. I'll jump off on my computer soon and read the whole thing, but. I'm glad it's helped. Um, yeah, I just encourage you to look at how you can bring forgiveness to yourself because we're the ones that are doing the doing of our life. Stuck on commitment to health. Being totally okay with my dark side, the anger, jealousy, resentment. Totally, Greg. Thank you for your openness and honesty. And dude, that, the fact that that still comes up is okay. Like, I think it hasn't really been that long since we stopped working together and that was the first time we really delved, delved into that. So it takes time and that's awesome that you've noticed that. It's also something that if you're open to it, you can explore in the tribe as well and be held in a space of non-judgment and love as you start to like explore that. Hey, Emma. Okay. So I'm not sure who's still on here, but thanks, team. I actually have to jump off. Oh, yeah. I've got a call in 15 minutes. But, yeah. <sighs> Self-forgiveness. It's so important. And this is my new commitment to myself, and this is what I committed to in our tribe today, is every morning... I used to do this a lot, doing a self-love meditation. So what that looks like for me is I lie down. Just a, let me know what you guys do in, in this kind of, I don't know, meditation I used to get really frustrated with. Cause I was like, ah, I can't get rid of my thoughts in my head, blah, 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 blah. But I found something that really works for me, which is, Dawn, you're so calming. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon, Hannah. Uh, we're having a call in 15 minutes. Um, but thank you. I think you're seeing a reflection of your own peace. 
um, is, what was I saying? Oh, self-love meditation. Hey, Moira. As I just lay down and what I've started practicing, I call it like a unwind and, and connect. <laughs> it's like I notice all of these thoughts that are going on in my head and there's often like a whole lot of judgments of what I haven't, haven't done, like of myself, of what's going on in life or what I'm thinking about that I need to do in the afternoon and blah, blah, blah. And it's like totally allowing all of that to flow through me. Um, and this is something you can do at any time of the day is just consciously noticing, oh, there's all this stuff going on in my head right now and I'm just going <laughs> to cure <laughs> Kiwi. And I'm just going to bring total love and self-acceptance to all of that. Like, I don't try and get rid of any of it. This is what I've been practicing lying down for like 20 minutes to an hour. Is just being like, cool, I can think about that. Or whatever that is that I'm feeling, I'm just going to feel that. If it's anger, I'm going to fucking feel it. If it's sadness, I'm going to feel it. I've been really noticing that. And even if it comes up in public, I've been crying in food courts and like cafes. You know, when it just comes up to really honor that and um Brittany really love this life cool um thanks for sharing in the tribe by the way hun you're opening up Woohoo. um I do really need to jump off but yeah I'm actually not going to teach you any more of that it's just like it's okay <laughs> to be a human being and whatever process you notice works for you is the one to listen to because really there is no strategy, there is no way, especially when you're really in something, is just to be that. The other night I was so fucking angry, and for about three hours I was trying to not be that, and then sat down and watched a movie and was really frustrated and was just saying to myself, holy shit, I've been resisting this, it's actually okay to be angry. What if I just let myself be angry? And then it started to shift, and I was like, ow. <laughs> Human being, alert. <laughs> okay. Thanks, team. You guys are awesome. Um, and as always, if you're vibing with this, please reach out to me. Um, I'd love to get to know you more. Much love. Have a beautiful day. And, yeah. Mwah.